guys, this is Roo Roni K95 here. Welcome to the 2024 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at some at movies, TV shows, cartoons, and some anime on here between 1978 and 1981, which is the, the late 70s to early 80s on there as well, because I know a lot of you want to check this out because there's a lot more anime in this, because I have them on DVD, VCD, and Blu-ray I have right here for my collection as well. So, let's dive right into the video, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. In this brand new video, we're going to be showcasing some movies, TV shows, cartoons, and some anime on here. Because I know a lot of you want to check this one out, because this is between 1978 and 1981, which is particularly late 80s to the early, well, late 70s to early 80s. I meant, huh, sorry about that. I thought I said late 80s, early 90s. No, it's late 70s, early 90s. No. Late 70s, early 80s. That's... Sorry about that. If I'm mistaken that, I apologize. So let's dive right into the video, because we're showcasing these I have right here from the late 70s to early 80s, because the ones I need to get that I don't have, which I will get them soon, which are The Sheriff and the Satellite Kid and Why Did You Pick on Me, which is also known as Kisa Perque Capitano Tutti e Mi, and Buddy Goes West, which are... And they call them Bulldozer, which are... Those are the Bud Spencer movies on DVD, which I will get them soon. As well as... I'm... For the Hippopotamus movie, which is the another Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movie. As well as... You guessed it. Every other Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movies from the 70s out there. Including Odds and Evens I need to get. Which I'll probably get them soon, because I love Italian cinema. The first one here I got on DVD... Well, this is the Collector's Edition DVD. I think I found this out at Walmart. And this is a two-disc set. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This one has the director's commentary by Philip Kaufman on here as well. And there's a lot more other bonus materials on this DVD as well. Yeah, because I, I think I found this a long, long time ago at Walmart which is probably in the DVD section back in 2009, which I think, I think I remember, though. Another film I have right here on DVD, and this is from George A. Romero right here, Dawn of the Dead. This is the U.S. theatrical version, which is released in the U.S. However, there is another ver there is a deluxe edition set on there, which includes different versions of Dawn of the Dead, which, which also includes the Dario Argento cut version, with music by the Goblins, which which who worked with Dario Argento, which I'm guessing it's in the Dario Argento cut version of Dawn of the Dead, when they cash it in as zombie as well, particularly, because I just want to come across for this as well. If you ever want to come by to this accordingly as well. I didn't know about this as well until now. Because I think George A. Romero and Dario Argento had a lot to do when they work, collaborated when they do the Dario Argento cut version of Dawn of the Dead as well. Because, however, this is the special DVMAX edition series on DVD. I love the artwork on the DVD, though. Still looking for the Dario Argento cut version because I want to check out the Dario Argento cut version. Mm -hmm. That's why. And another movie I have right here on VHS, but I think this was only like $1.99 at a Goodwill store. Grease. This is the original Grease, not Grease 2. This is the, ori the one you want to see as well because this movie stars John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John in this movie. Because and this also stars Frankie Avalon as well under special guest appearances in that movie. This has been a long time since I've seen this movie as well. 
And another movie I have here, which I still have yet to plan to watch, and this is one of the greatest films from that is part of the Martin Scorsese film collection, The Last Waltz. I, I got this DVD as a gift, though, because this has the rare unseen footages, and this has some two direct different commentaries on this DVD as well, in case you all wonder as well. Another movie I have right here on VHS, I got this at Hollywood Video, Alien. However, there is another edition of Alien on DVD or VHS, which is THX certified. I might as well look for the one that is THX certified, because the 1992 VHS of Alien is only... It was never presented in THX certified. However, you can see the sticker label, it says Hollywood Video on here, because I think I got this a long time ago at Hollywood Video, because they were selling off a lot of their older tapes as well, just before the arrival of the Blu-rays. And another movie I have right here on VHS, and this is from Francis Ford Coppola, who worked on, and this is from the director of Flyaway Poem, The Black Stallion. This has been a long time since I've seen this movie. It's a very good movie, though. Another cult classic film I consider to be my all-time favorite cult classics on here. This is the Ultimate Director's Cut version. The Warriors. This has been a long time since I've seen this movie. I did a movie, my first movie review on The Warriors a while back in uh, 2018. And I did a revisiting review on The Warriors as well because I had a... If you haven't seen those, feel free to check those out. However... I might as well upgrade to the Blu-ray edition because it has the original theatrical cut version once I can upgrade soon. And we're into the 1980s on here. The first one here I got is The Shining on Blu-ray. This is the best film from Stanley Kubrick, in my opinion. I mean, Jack Nicholson, he did an excellent job in the movie along with Shelley Duvall in that one because I had to get this on Half Price Books a while back because... This has been a while since I've watched this movie, and oh boy, this is the true masterpiece of this epic horror film. And this is based on the novel by Stephen King, and this is directed by Stanley Kubrick, who worked on 2001 A Space Odyssey, Clockwork Orange, Eyes Wide Shut, Barry Lyndon, as well as Full Metal Jacket, as well as Eyes Wide Shut as well, and Spartacus as well. I mean, I will get Clockwork Orange and... 2001 A Space Odyssey on Blu-ray soon. Another movie I have right here on DVD, New Year's Evil. Well, this is basically like your generic horror film from the 80s. Yeah, this is a like your typical generic slasher film, but it plays like a cop show from the 70s on here. However, there's some rock music from the bands like Shadow on here. This is directed by Emmett Alston. And this is produced by Golan Globus, because this was released by the Canon Film Group on here. However, Kino Lorber Studio Classics also released it New Year's Evil on Blu-ray not too many moons ago. Another film I have right here, if you're a Star Wars fan right here, Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. This is the greatest Star Wars movie on DVD. This is digitally mastered in THX on here, and this is THX certified, by the way. And this has the commentary on this DVD set. And this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this movie, like Star Wars as well. Because you can't go wrong with this one as well. Another movie I have right here that I still have yet to plan to watch. Because I think I watched a little bit, but I have to rewatch The Watcher in the Woods. Because I have right here on DVD. Because this is one of those movies I have will rewatch soon. And another movie I have right here, and this is one of my all-time favorite movies on here, and I think this has been a long time since I've watched this movie, The Fox and the Hound. This is a classic movie on VHS, though. I will get the DVD soon at one point, because I did a movie review on The Fox and the Hound a while back as well, because I had to get this one as well. Another movie I have right here on VHS, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Pretty soon I might as well find the DVD. I've heard the DVD release is presented, and there's other versions of them uh, on VHS and DVD that were THX certified on here. Like the ones that were presented in widescreen. This one's only presented in full screen. If you want to look for the ones presented in THX certified, there's the, the widescreen versions as well. In case if I give you word for this as well. 
Another movie I have right here, and that is Dragon Slayer. I have this movie on DVD. I have yet to watch this movie. I'll probably it's on my plan to watch list on for movies on there. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and this is one of my all-time favorite films from Ralph Bakshi, though. American Pop. This is basically one of my favorite movies, because this is from the director Ralph Bakshi, who worked on Fritz the Cat, Heavy Traffic, as well as Fire and Ice, and the animated adaptation of the Lord of the Rings movie as well. And I think Ralph Bakshi also worked on Hey Good Lookin' as well, because I love because I love me some Ralph Bakshi, because... Ralph Bakshi is my favorite director, though. Another movie I have right here on Blu-ray, I think I got this at Respute and Music, Heavy Metal. This is one of my all-time favorite movies on Blu-ray because I love Heavy Metal. However, it, when it was released on VHS and Laserdisc, and the, it that was presented in THX Certified on here, if I give you the word for this as well, which I will find the THX Certified version of this at one point, once I can do a, like a comparison type overview on that at one point in the nearest future, for the most part. Another movie I have right here on Blu-ray, I got at a book sale for a dollar, The Road Warrior. This is my first Mad Max film on Blu-ray on here. Pretty soon I will pick up the first Mad Max movie and Beyond Thunderdome on Blu-ray at one point, as well as Fury Road, so I can do like a marathon as well, like a movie marathon when you're watching Mad Max. Another... Pretty, no, I don't have Cannibal Holocaust, because I want to check out that film from Ruggiero Diodato, because I, I heard Cannibal Holocaust is the, the most controversial film, which I will get it on Blu-ray from Arrow Video soon. Probably for the most part as well. The first, uh, This one I have right here on DVD, The Incredible Hulk Season 2 and 3 on DVD, because this is between 1978 all the way to 1980 on there as well. Because I have ones right here. Oh, and which I'll show you in just a moment as well. I think I do have another one here somewhere. And I think I have them right there from my sh collection as well. The Incredible Hulk Season 4 on DVD. I think I got this one as well. Because it's all the way to 1981. Because there, this one has the commentary on the episode Prometheus, even though I've done an episode review on Prometheus a while back as well. We're into the cartoons I have right here. Godzilla, this is the Hanna-Barbera animated series on DVD, because I've done videos like these a while back. However, there was Volume 3 to this, which this completes the entire set, but it's only Season 1 as well, which I've shown you before in my previous videos. We're finally into the anime I have right here. This one I got is... Farewell to Space Battleship Yamato. This is the sequel to the first Space Battleship Yamato film on here. And this is only Japanese dub with English subtitles. And by, this is by far one of my favorite anime films from the 70s on here. Because this is particularly my lucky find. Because can't go wrong with Space Battleship Yamato movies on there. Pretty soon... And I will pick up Captain Harlock soon at one point. Another one I got right here on DVDs. I need to get the rest of the remaining volumes of them. The original Mobile Suit Gundam, because this is one of my favorite series. This started the Gundam franchise as well, which is from the creator Oshiyuki Tomino that worked on the lesser series like I Need to Get, which are Zambot 3 and Dytarn 3 at one point, and Ideon, of course, as well. And another one I got right here on the DVD as well. Lupin the Third, The Secret of Mamo, which is the very first Lupin the Third movie, which is directed by the, the guy who worked on Gai King, Dino Mech Gai King, Soji Yoshikawa. This is the very first Lupin movie that came out in the same year as the Red Jacket series as well, which is the second Lupin series. Another one I have right here, and this is a Chinese VCD set. Hana no Ko Loon Loon. It's all 50 episodes. This is 25 discs per vault, two episodes per disc on this. I really enjoyed this old 1979 anime series from Toei as well. I mean, the animation kind of reminds me of Candy Candy, which I will get the bootleg DVD of that at some point. 
This has been a long time since I've watched this anime on the portable DVD player. Classic series, in my opinion. And I got two different versions of Lupin the Third, The Castle of Cagliostro, which is the very first Lupin movie directed by Miyazaki. This I got the discotheque media version because I've done videos like of these a while back as well. And the other one I got right here is Ace Warrior Baldios the movie. Pretty soon I will get the series and Astro Boy 80s anime at one point on blue DVD or Blu-ray at this point. I got this at Respeeding Music a while back as well, in case you wonder. And another anime I have right here on DVD I got right here, and that is Dog Tanyon and the Three Musket Hounds. This is the 1981 anime series that came out the same hour as Dr. Slump and Go Lion and Hello Spank and Dash Kepe as well. However, Dog Tanyon's also aired in the United States of America when it was aired on the Disney Channel back in the 80s as well. But I got this for like 20 bucks on Amazon for Prime Shipping if you're a Prime member as well. Another one I got right here, and that is Ulysses 31 on DVD. This is one of my favorite 1981 anime series. I'll pr probably pick up the complete series set on DVD at one point, but it's only Region 2, because I'll just buy them for the novelty of it. And the biggest one of all, the Urusei Yatsura DVDs as well. However, Discotech Media has finally released all four of them at this point because I didn't, I didn't know because these are the original volumes from Animago as well because I just wanted to come across for these because these came with liner notes as well because you can't go wrong with old anime like this. And there is also the 2022 Yurisei Yatsura anime series which is now getting a Blu-ray release by Sentai Filmworks. Gave us to give you a word for that. So that's going to be it for my video here for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the 1982 film, which is coming up next, a category on there as well. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Check out my notifications bell button by clicking on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below, if you like as well. And be sure to, or to check out my anime planner and list, because I've been literally getting into Letterboxd and T-ShirtSlayer.com, and I'm also getting into album reviews and battle jacket update videos as well and a lot of other variety of it including episode reviews from hell of a boss as well in case you wonder as well and that's all i have what i got for today ta-ta for now for this video in addition to this for the dvds i really need to get for the anime on there which are, there's like these japanese dvd sets on here like the kabocha wine because it's only released in japan on here which I will get those on my birth for my birthday in the future. We'll talk about that in the next video. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon for more videos. I got a plan for what's in store for more. Take care. Stay tuned for more surprises. Bye.